Diamond Veil. Shattered Memories. By Eric Hua. Chapter 3. The Request. It was now morning in Nadir and Myla had gotten up on her own. She thought it was quite strange as Sahil would normally been out in the halls waking up everyone. She quickly rolled out of bed and got ready to get to the dining hall. When she arrived the place was filled with wooden tables and chairs, but no one was there. Myla thought this was peculiar as this place should have been booming with people during breakfast hours. As she was wondering where everyone was, she heard a noise from outside the inn and she went to examine what was causing it. A crowd formed around two people who were the focus of attention. One was the girl who ventured out into the polluted wilds and the other was the gatekeeper of Nadir. Amrita was in desperate need of help so she ran to people begging but the gatekeeper would not allow her. He put her in a bind and restricted her movement. She was yelling while trying to break free but everyone stood watching. Myla made her way through the multitude of civilians. When she got to the front she saw the familiar girl from back at the store but now she was being held down by someone stronger. She told the gatekeeper to get off Amrita but he told her to stay out of their business. His voice was stern but Myla couldn't look away from Amrita who needed her help. She jumped on the gatekeeper and distracted him, allowing the girl to run away and hide. After seeing the girl flee, Myla was relieved, but the man grabbed her by the collar and threw her aside. Myla quickly got back on her feet and now she was staring at the gatekeeper on the other side. She put her fists up into fighting position, ready to engage in battle against a taller opponent. The crowd was all excited for the possibility of a showdown, but suddenly Sahil jumped in between the two fighters. The innkeeper interrupted the fight as he didn't want anyone causing damage near his property. His interference deterred the gatekeeper from battling against Myla. Knowing that the people of Nadir wouldn't help Amrita, he left the scene as he saw no reason to stay. After the anticipated fight was cancelled, the crowd dispersed and Myla could see Amrita still trying to ask people for help. Feeling empathy for her situation, she brought the girl to one of the dining tables inside the inn. When the food arrived at their table, Amrita grabbed a bunch and began scoffing the food down at an incredible rate. Myla was shocked at how much the girl could eat. She gave the girl some time to eat before asking her about the missing friend from the other night. Suddenly, Amrita lost her appetite and the expression on her face switched. Myla apologized if she said something to offend her but Amrita let her know it was fine. She took a bit of time to gather her thoughts before sharing what happened that night. She retold the events of what happened to her and Cece out in the polluted wilds. Amrita had dragged Cece along for a fun adventure during the night. She wanted to prove how cunning she was by sneaking past the gate and how brave she was by wandering out into the wilds during the dark. Cece was always hesitant but she couldn't say no to her friend. All was going well until the wailing sounds began. Then a creature appeared before them and had its gaze fixed upon them. Both the girls attempted to escape together but after a short run, Cece slipped and was apprehended by the creature. Amrita watched in horror as her friend was taken away but it gave her the chance to escape and return to Nadir. After arriving back to Nadir, she tried to find someone who would be willing to help her find Cece. Unfortunately, the gatekeeper found out she snuck out into the polluted wilds and began scolding her in front of everyone. Seeing how sad the girl was, Myla patted her head in hopes of making Amrita feel better but then she got a thought. Amrita began asking Myla if she could go out into the wilds and find Cece. Myla was hesitant but as she looked back at the table, she saw that Amrita had fallen asleep on the table. She called Sahil over and together they helped get the girl up into Myla's room. Once they placed her on Myla's bed, they closed the door and left her alone. As they were walking together, Sahil asked Myla if she was going to take up the girl's request. Myla tried to hide her answer but Sahil already had a feeling she was planning to leave. He was dreading the thought of having to find another tenant. The innkeeper was about to walk away but Myla had one question for him. She wanted to know the name of the gatekeeper she bumped into earlier. Sahil told Myla that his name was Jacob 